Hey gangly gang, it's 3.42 in the afternoon here in Montreal, Air Fair City. Uh, and it's time for another episode of Show and Tell with the Cheap Bastard. Stay tuned. What is it? What is it? Huh? Can you guess? Oh, gotta stop. Here's another clue. Oh. Oh, what could it be? What could it be? You gotta guess. Come on. Oh, I gotta go pee. I'll be right back. Here's another clue. Oh, that looks like a prusik knot right there. Whoa! 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 Sharp turn. Coming down. Mm, back to that thing right there. That's what it is. What the fuck is it? Alright. So, what is it? It is a trekking trailer. That's right, a trekking trailer. I needed something to haul a heavy load over a long distance uh, that would give me some uh, relief my knees, my hips, my back, my neck, shoulders. And this is what I came up with. A trekking trailer. It's 22 inches wide. I don't know how long it is. It weighs 10 pounds. Aluminum, uh, some plastic. Very simple. The harness is a, they call it a fanny pack. And um, I think I spent about 125 bucks building this. And we'll see what all we got here. Hang on. We have two 16 inch wheels, quick release. What do you call that? Cotter pins? Yeah. So the wheels come off, packs away, packs pretty flat, hangs in a closet, no trouble. The tubing, you see here, is an aluminum curtain rod that I bought at Renault Depot. Uh, I had to buy, well, I had to make two sections because I couldn't do this complex bending because I'm an idiot. So uh, I cut it into two pieces and they're joined here in the middle. There's a wooden dowel that runs across here and it's held in place using this handle and there's a screw that runs through the handle. So it's rock solid. Uh, as I said, this this I pulled 70 pounds with this trailer. The uh, surface here is made from one of those uh, slippery slide sleds that you roll up, wintertime sleds. And it's uh, held in place. I um, just cut, uh, cut the sled and then uh, drove some brass rivets in. And they're held with simple black nylon twist ties. These are quick release, not twist ties, but zip ties. And they go all around the, the frame. I have a square tube up here that the round tube runs through. Uh, that was fun to drill just with a, <laughs> a wooden, a wood drill bit. Uh, two more handles up here to hold whatever bag I want to mount on there. The uh, plastic has been cut here so that you can use any number of uh, methods for strapping things on. The end here I designed because I wanted to be able to take a small cooler, strap that on, have my bag up here. Um, the fanny pack just has a couple of, um, what do you call them, um, carabiners that it attaches to a prusik knot. Prusik knot is just the most beautiful thing in the world. This tubing is really slick, but the prusik knot 
when you put any weight on it, it holds firm. So you can slide this back and forth wherever you want it. For maneuvering in tight spaces, I slide it all the way back here so that my butt is bumping against this tube here. And then once I'm out on the road striding along, going full steam, I set it right up here. If I gotta, if I gotta go over a curb on a sidewalk, slide it back, grab a hold of the handle, and pull. No trouble. Beauty. I was running down Mount Royal one day, and these guys were running the mountain on their lunch break. And they asked me what the hell I was doing with this thing. Because it was fully loaded. And I said, well, I'm just testing it. Because I'd like to maybe one day walk across the continent. Who knows? People have done stranger things. So we'll take this outside and have a look. Stay tuned. Here we go. Okay, so this is roughly a 50-pound load. The cooler just has some bottles of water in it. The uh, pack is just full of uh, my standard hiking gear, plus some books and things, just to give it a little more weight. The fanny pack, however, has nothing in it, uh, but it can be used for water bottles, camera, uh, wallet, keys, gun, whatever you want to pack. And uh, as you can see, it all sets up, stands upright, and uh, we'll, we'll show you how to strap it on. And then I got a little hill here to go up with a curb to bump over and uh, so on and so on and so on. All right, here we go. Just like that. All right. Let's get a look at uh, how she works in action. Try not to look at me. Look at the trailer, huh? Going uphill now. Big bump. No worries, mates. All right. Try it again. Here we go. Down the hill this time. How do you like that? Maybe you can see it. Maybe you can't. I don't know. What about up here. Okay. We're gonna run. We're gonna run up that hill. We're gonna take that hill. Woo. Feel it when you hit the hill. It pops right over. Pretty groovy. Pretty groovy. Pretty groovy. And 
me. I got no weight on my shoulders. It pushes my back, huh? Feels good when we're going downhill. This baby's for sale too, by the by. <laughs> Everything's for sale. Uphill. Nothing to it. It's the only way to roll, baby. Betcha. Stairs. Not always your friend. This is just to illustrate the holding power of the Prusik knot. Heck, let's go back up. That's about. It's a light load, it's only about 50 pounds. But the harder you pull on a prussic knot, the tighter it gets. Yeah, buddy. There she is. Pretty sweet. Love it. Questions, comments, let me know. Love to hear from you.